Hello guys, it's Mo okay, Detex here, and today I want to show you a Yale Superior Eurocylinder. But before I start talking about the lock, I have to thank a few people. Uh, first of all, Sterilock, thanks a lot uh, for uh, a shout out uh, my little YouTube channel. I, I really appreciate that, and I'm once again amazed uh, how supportive this community is. And yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, and uh, if you don't know Sterilock, uh, please check out his channel. Uh, it's really awesome, a great guy. Uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, the second, uh, second one uh, I have to thank is, uh, again, Engineer Snowman, because he is uh, not getting tired to give me cool locks I can show, I can pick. And yeah, thanks, Snowman. Uh, I really appreciate that. I hope I can send you some cool stuff the next time. And the third one is uh, Legion of Samurai from the APU Discord. Um, we had a little chat about the Yale uh, because I was curious about uh, this slider uh, situation. I thought there are no false gates in there, um, but uh, unfortunately uh, there is a kind of a false gate. And let me show you what I mean. Let me take the slider number two. I have to grab around my camera right here. And as you can see, uh, the big uh, cutout here is the true gate where the sidebar has to drop in. And there's this tiny little cutout here. And when I first gutted this lock, uh, I didn't pay attention uh, of the direction of the uh, of the sliders. And um, I put it back in, uh, in the direction that the little cutout can grab at the sidebar to fool me uh, when I pick it. Um, the problem was uh, that uh, in this position, um, the true gates weren't aligned up properly when the key is in. So I uh, uh, switched the position, uh, or I turned the slider in the other way, and uh, that the that the uh, false gate is at the outside of the, of the core. Let me show you that. In this direction that it can grab on this little edge here. And uh, I was thinking, hmm, it doesn't make sense. Why the hell should uh, the slider grab on the core? Um, doesn't make sense. And I asked Samurai, and he sent me a picture of a Yale he got it. And in his Yale, uh, it was exactly the other uh, situation, that the uh, false gate is uh, in direction to the sidebar. And uh, yeah, uh, he said um, he don't really notice uh, the false gate. Uh, it's just a like, tiny little cutout. Um, but yeah, it was a bit confusing why there are two different uh, situations uh, for the false gate orientation. But uh, yeah, it is how it is, and uh, I think we have to deal with that. And yeah, it's still a fun pick. Uh, let me just show you the other uh, stuff. Uh, on this side, we have the key pins. Nothing special, uh, just this, um, this uh, uh, shape that they uh, sit proper in the core, and they are hanging basically in there, and they are, don't touch the the bottom of the of the core so quite nice uh, to pick it you don't have to sneak under them there are, there's already enough room to get a pick under them uh, the holes are slightly angled i hope you can see that and that means that you have uh, inside just one straight row of pins this makes it uh, a little bit easier as well to pick it not uh, like in the uh, dome ix10 for example where we have really two rows and you have to switch the positions all the time yeah it's a little bit easier to maneuver uh, inside the core. Uh, the row three and four are the driver pins. We have two security pins in there, a double spool in position one, uh, then followed by seven uh, standard pins and a T-pin in the very last position. Uh, here are the springs, uh, even tinier springs for the sidebar and springs for the sliders. And that's basically all. One thing I want to mention before, um, the sidebar doesn't drop when you align the sliders. Uh, you really have to have to force them a little bit in there uh, because uh, it are tiny springs, um, but they generate quite a lot of tension to the sidebar. And yet you, need, you need some tension to get the sidebar in the true gates once you aligned them. And let me show you the tools I will use. Uh, standard flag from the Gozo kit, uh, very slim one. And I filed down another flag to this oddly shaped thing uh, for the reason that I can put it in there like, oh, let me just get my focus again, like this, oh, you can see it, like this, to sneak behind the sliders and uh, set them. Um, yeah, that's basically all. Let me clamp everything up uh, and let's start picking it. So we're back. Let's check if the key works. Looks fine. And yeah, let me 
retention now in position and let's start picking it. Um, I have to admit it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, to count the pins while I'm picking them because I'm going back and forth uh, all the time and yeah I go quite for feel in this lock but it should work anyways. Little click out of one. Tiny movement on the core on pin six, I guess. Let's go through again. Little click out of seven. And there we have a very, very noticeable movement. Let's go through the pins. Feels good. I think it's time for, for the sliders. Let me change my pick. Now I'm using this oddly shaped thing here. And I'm going in until I touch the first slider. Give him a little push, but I think he should rest exactly where he is at the moment. I'm hanging something. Go behind him. Slider tools. Behind him. Little click out of him. Let's go further. Slider three. Oh, fields, fields spring. Back to one again. Check line. It's now, it's now sitting very stiff in there. I think we are very close. One again. A little something out of two. Check three. Ah, and slider three was it again. And we are open. <coughs> Where's my pinning tray? <clears throat> so let me just turn it back to remove the seat clip safely. So let me get my follower. Now thumb on the bottom of the core because the sidebar just springs out. I will use this nice little core holder to get it in. And now we can safely turn the core. Still thumb or finger on it and now we can remove the sidebar. Oh, let me just get my focus, sorry. <clears throat> so let me get the springs out. Tiny little things. Core holder again, like this. 
<clears throat> and let's take these sliders out. One, two, three, and four. <clears throat> First spring, the second spring. Yeah, feel free to, to skip the next, I think, 10 minutes. I will put timestamps in the in the description. Cutting takes quite a while. Sorry for that. So sliders are out, springs are out. And now we can go on with the Always this pin that don't want to come out. <clears throat> well, keep it out. Let's go to the to the driver pins. So the first one is our double spool. And now followed by seven stand up pins. And the T pin on the very last position. <clears throat> oh, there's our drill protection pin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All springs are out. Here's the key, and let me give you a little close up of everything again. Key pins, driver pins. These are sliders with the little springs and our sidebar with even tinier springs. And yeah, that's all. I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.